or bringing charges against them, if they themselves do not feel confident to provide formal charges based on these violent acts, then I think we, we can all be fairly confident that thought it had no part whatsoever in any type of plotting with any type of violent acts. So I hope that's clarified. And if anybody has any remaining questions about that, after inshallah when we break for food and whatnot, uh, please please feel free to approach me. I'll be happy to try to provide any further clarification on that that I'm able to. Inshallah. Uh, I'm going to introduce my father right now. He's going to provide uh, some updates for what's currently going on with Talib right now, and plus some additional comments. So, my father, Ahmed Man. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. First, I should second Tamil appreciation for the audience, Muslim and non Muslims. And it is an honor to see a lot of faces and a lot of good, courageous people, especially the non-Muslims, because that is something is of their faith, meaning they don't believe in Islam, that's true, but they do believe in justice. And the way they are behaving, all of them, I have met them several times before, they're behaving in a way that they are supporting justice. And for us, justice is a must in case of Tariq accusation or charges against him. We need justice. Unfortunately, the government, will like it or not, they used 9-11 to actually screw up every moral value this country was built on. That's the fact. That's why they put the Patriot Act, the Patriot Act, can charge anyone at any time with anything as long as the government can put it under national security. In our case, I would add to what Tamir was saying, the charges against Starling, all of them, stem from the fact that he refused to be an informant to the FBI. That's the fact everybody should know. It's not something we say off the record, it is on the record. They did approach him several times and they told him, if you don't accept our offer, we're going to make your life hell. And they said it and they did it, unfortunately. And he is very, very, as Tamer said, very intelligent person, very southern person, very peaceful person. And I did say that to them when they did subpoena me for questions about him, that you are targeting the wrong person. That uh, he is my son, I raised him, he never left the house, and I know exactly how he thinks and how he proceeds with his life. But in, in any case, we are unfortunately under heavy, heavy-handed government. The government could do anything or say anything and eventually we are, especially we as Muslims, are living in a very, very fearful condition. Everybody trying to hide, everybody trying to say, yeah, I support my brother Muslim, but I can't do anything. However, it is not right to do so. The support could be, I will ask brothers in the audience to keep praying for Tariq. That's, don't underestimate the value of dua or prayer. Just keep him in your prayer. That's one thing you could support with. Second, if there is an event that he will appear in court, the more of you showing will be the best thing to do. Just show. I'm not asking people to raise writing or raise protest or anything. I'm asking you to be there at least to show that he is not alone. That's one thing. Regarding his progress in life, he is still in solitary confinement 23 hours a day. He gets out one hour per day. And during that one hour, he 
runs, exercise in a cage, imagine, and he take a shower and he call me every day, me and his mother, of course, and his brother, every day. That's his daily life. What I am doing, and I believe, inshallah, it is working and it will work, that we're keeping him busy. He is studying for his board, professional board, at this point. We send him the books and he's studying. He's studying Sunnah and the Quran. And he's reading and writing to the point that he is telling me that he doesn't have time to think about anything else. So he is full with all the good things that he actually can keep himself away from the thinking of the injustice condition that he is in under. Yeah, imagine that for nine months, this is a ninth month, you're sitting 23 hours a day facing the wall. Imagine that. And everybody forget and everybody just say it will go, but not for him, not for me at least. It is, I'm living with him every second he lives. To the point that, believe it or not, I have not smiled for those nine months he been incar incarcerated during. Not for a single time. I can't even live my normal life. But he's my son and I know that he has done nothing. I want to update you also on the last week or last couple of weeks. They did file two charges. New two charges. And the way they filed the charges, if you read them, that was read by a lot of lawyers, read by a lot of colleagues, and they said, what is new in it? There is nothing new. They took two of the ten charges and reawarded them and considered them new charges. But eventually, it is something they want to extend his stay in prison. Regardless if he is guilty or not guilty, they want to extend it, that's why they filed those charges. What I need from the audience, there will be, again, a arraignment for those two charges. Sometime, next week, next couple of weeks, if you have time and if you do really, really want to support her, I want you to show up in court. How do you know? We'll put it on the website and we'll inform the mosque and everybody if he or she has time, that would be a great help for time. Because that is from our experience, the judge, we have a new judge now. The case is in the hands of judge called Judge O'Toole. He's no longer with the magistrate who put him in jail without any reason. The new judge has to see that there are supporters of Uttar. Regardless, he will say guilty or non guilty, that's not the point. The new judge, and that was a very positive point when they arrested Tarek for the first time in the courthouse. The prosecutor was waving and saying he has a followers. He has followers, joking. Then the judge was, but he was brave by that time. He told them that should count for him, not against him. And everybody broke and left. In the courtroom. Court, yeah, it, it is in the room. So, with the new judge, I wish that if you have time and we inform you in advance, at least one day or two days, please show up because that's how to show your solidarity with a brother that is in, he is incarcerated unjustly or unjustly, very, very unjust. However, he is very patient, he is very strong, and he is using his time properly in a positive way, not in a whining way, not in a upsetting way. No, he is taking it with very, very smooth fashion to the point that his guards, one of his guards, they treat him very well, by the way. There is no mistreatment. 